some grim memories of what happened at UCLA just about five months ago. That's right. CBS News' Jeff Nguyen is live tonight in Westwood with safety measures that campin, campus rather, has taken since. Jeff. Well, Susie and Jeff, a lot of people at UCLA woke up to news from Ohio State this morning. It brought back painful news or painful memories from June 1st when panic quickly spread across this campus. Just locked down all the door, just, you know, hide in the lab. That was the text the Kevin Gum got so, from his uh, professor during an active shooter situation at UCLA on June 1st when a student shot and killed a professor and then himself. Reginald Wrong was walking to class at the Engineering 4 building that day. Just suddenly everyone just rushed out of the door and then I was freaking out. Anxiety is what many Bruins felt this morning when news of violence at Ohio State broke. During the UCLA shooting, a number of students had to barricade classroom doors because they couldn't be locked from the inside. I would definitely want to see the, door, the locks are changed. Since then, UCLA has updated the locks on the majority of its nearly 200 classroom doors. The remaining 20 will be finished during the winter break. Active shooter. The Westwood campus has had active shooter training seen in this LA County Sheriff's Department video. It's designed to deal with all threats, whether it's a gun or a knife in cars, such as the case at Ohio State. Kevin Gim believes kindness is the best way to stop violence. Since June 1st, he's tried harder to reach out to friends who may be stressed out or struggling emotionally. So that uh, we're, if you're like stick together and connect with each other, I think we can prevent those kind of things. About 2,500 people took part in active shooter training last year with campus police. It's offered several times a year with different groups. Jeff, Susie.